Hello, my name is Tian. I'm from the New Camp Minneapolis full stack uh, course that's going to graduate front end on February 2nd. And this is my portfolio video. And I want to start off by showing off what my inspiration was for making the project. So you can see this is Trello. Um, and it's a really good place. Just add notes. Uh, you can add a title of notes like food that I like to eat. And you can see you can add items in there like sushi and steak. And you can keep on making these lists. Well, my app is called Keeper. You can find it on my link. I mean, sorry, not LinkedIn, GitHub under this URL. And in this place, uh, you can make your own cards. Let's go make uh, things to do. And let's, you know, play golf, uh, talk to friends. And we can add a note there. And you can see, like, you know, this is cleared up so that the user can easily add another note and they can keep adding notes and they'll keep on stacking on each other. So this is note two and this is description in note two. Whoops. We'll add that and you can see the user can also delete as you've seen earlier. And let's go into the nitty gritty of the code. Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of it. So basically what happens is that, you know, we have to index and you inject the app component that you make into it and uh, I'm gonna give you like the main idea not the complete detail because we have only so much time but let's start with like the header and the footer and it's very simple uh, it's basically just a footer element with a copyright and a little uh, function here that gets the current year that you're viewing the website and the header is just really just an h1 and we just insert into the app uh, .js just so that it has a much cleaner look and where the real magic happens is create uh, area where basically what happens is that whenever the user were to uh, enter in information there's a handle change that takes the value of the target and whenever they submit it uh, it would basically go into the array that holds the items or the objects that you insert based off of what the users enter. And over here, it will, on submit note, it will uh, set the state so that, you know, it clears out so that the user can add more notes. Uh, what's interesting too is that the user can delete as well. And so if we go to the note here, um, when they click delete, what happens is that in app.jsx, there's actually a delete function right here that gets inserted as a prop on the delete button. As you can see, it's like on delete, delete notes. And this basically uh, causes the function to delete the, or not necessarily, sorry, not necessarily delete, but returns an array that does not include that ID of the note that was, you know, that was pressed on. And that's basically how the Trello app works. Now I have other applications too that I would like to show just cause uh, I'm, I'm pretty proud of my work that's on, uh, that, that's been, that I've done through this course. And so one of them is like the bootstrap course. And this is like Tindog, uh, just to show it off. I know we don't have so much time and I don't want to take any more of your time, but I just figured I'd show it real quick. You can see this Tindog got the navigation bar with buttons here. You got the carousel. And you can see like when the user were to, you know, make the screen smaller, it puts all the ways to navigate the website into one small button, which the user can toggle. And here's the last one. Um, you probably saw a little hint of it right here. Uh, this one is a Simon game, which is also on my uh, GitHub. And you can press any button and it would start like a little animation, which the user can follow to increase their level. And for something that, I thought would have been so hard was actually not as bad because you would generate a random number that would put the colors that was called into an array and the user would continually try to match it and if they don't uh, match the array basically what happens is that it's a huge error and you get this really frightening sound with a scary animation. And this is actually done with jQuery. Um, but yeah, these are the three projects that I've worked on throughout the course while doing New Camp. And I thank you so much for uh, have, spending time to watch my portfolio project video. Hope you have a good day. Bye.